A warm greeting. Today is Thursday, October 16, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. Once again, I'll be discussing the updated forecast of the tropical wave that is now halfway between the Caribbean and Africa, and which has chances for tropical development in about 6 to 10 days once it reaches the Caribbean Sea. For now, it is not expected to become a tropical cyclone before moving over the Lesser Antilles. However, between Sunday and Tuesday of next week, heavy rainfall is expected across the region, causing some localized flooding and wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour. As we anticipated over the past few days, today at 2 p.m. the National Hurricane Center marked a large portion of the Caribbean Sea where there is up to a 20% chance of development during the next seven days. For residents of the Lesser Antilles, notice that the area east of the Caribbean has not been marked, which means that tropical development is not expected before it crosses the islands. That said, it's important for residents of the Greater Antilles, the Yucatan Peninsula, and Central America to stay alert to the evolution of this tropical wave, since by the middle and end of next week conditions across the region could become favorable for tropical cyclone formation. In fact, it's very likely that over the next few days the development chances will continue to increase, as we're beginning to see consensus among the global models showing that the probability of a tropical depression forming has been increasing over the past several days. Before discussing the different potential track scenarios of this disturbance and analyzing the latest global model runs, I'd like to briefly talk about the expected impacts across the southern half of the Lesser Antilles and Trinidad and Tobago. According to the latest American model projection, between Sunday and Tuesday rainfall totals across the southern Lesser Antilles and Trinidad and Tobago are expected to range between 3 and 8 inches, which could lead to some flooding early next week. Farther north, the central Lesser Antilles could also receive between 2 and 4 inches of rain. Although rainfall will be the most significant effect, breezy conditions are also expected. For example, the European model continues to project wind gusts between 35 and 40 miles per hour affecting the region between Sunday and Monday. Now let's talk about the long-range forecast, specifically once this tropical wave begins moving near the southern Dominican Republic and northern Venezuela. As I've mentioned in recent days, conditions south of Jamaica could be quite favorable for tropical cyclone formation. In fact, the next name on the list would be Tropical Storm Melissa. Although the development chances have increased today, we still don't know exactly what the future track could be if a tropical cyclone forms. For instance, some scenarios suggest a north-northeast motion, while others show a much more westward track. That's why residents of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Honduras, and Nicaragua should stay alert to the evolution of this tropical wave. If we look at historical data from the past 30 years, during October we have seen the formation of several tropical storms and hurricanes, especially in the Western Caribbean Sea. Generally, the most favored track is toward the west-northwest, which can pose a risk to parts of Central America, the Yucatan Peninsula, and Western Cuba. Less frequently, some systems take a north-northeast track, which can become a threat to the Greater Antilles. These two scenarios are evident in the current global model runs. For example, in the latest European model run at midday, it takes about 8 to 10 days to develop a tropical depression just east and northeast of Nicaragua and strengthens it over time as it moves westward. Meanwhile, the American model shows a different scenario, developing the tropical wave south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, resulting in a north-northeast track that threatens the northeastern Caribbean. In the case of the German model, the latest run shows a tropical depression forming south of the Dominican Republic in about 5 to 6 days, keeping it very weak and moving it northward over Haiti and the southern Bahamas, preventing significant strengthening. The UK model develops a tropical depression northwest of Colombia in about seven days. As for the European AI model, unlike past runs that kept the track far to the south, which prevented development, the midday run today shows a tropical depression forming south of Jamaica in about seven to eight days with an almost stationary motion for several days. From today's model runs, we can conclude the following. First, the chances for tropical development continue to gradually increase, and that's precisely why the National Hurricane Center has highlighted the Caribbean region with low probabilities of development. However, it's still too early to determine the future track of this disturbance. To have a clearer projection, we'll need to wait several days to see how the tropical wave evolves once it enters the Caribbean Sea. If we analyze the latest ensemble runs from the European model, most members favor a westward track that could bring the system into Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, or the Yucatan Peninsula. However, others show a northward track that could threaten eastern Cuba, Haiti, or the Dominican Republic. When compared with the American ensemble, we see greater uncertainty, with some members showing tracks over Puerto Rico, others over the Dominican Republic and Haiti, others over Jamaica and Cuba, 
and some as far west as Central America. As this animation makes clear, the uncertainty in both track and intensity remains too high to make any definitive forecast. In the case of Google's AI model, we also see two possible scenarios, one with a westward track toward Central America or the Yucatan Peninsula, and another with a north-northeast track over the Dominican Republic, Haiti, or Puerto Rico. If you live in the Caribbean islands, Central America, or the Yucatan Peninsula, I ask that you remain calm, since we'll have about a week to monitor the evolution of this tropical wave. Once again, it's still impossible at this time to make a reliable forecast. As always, here at Hurricane Info I'll continue closely monitoring the evolution of this tropical wave, and I plan to record at least one video per day to keep you informed. So, to make sure you don't miss this content, I invite you to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the notification bell to receive alerts when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent night, and don't forget to share this video with friends and family. See you tomorrow.